Kenyan cross-dresser Bob Risky has been making rounds on social media as P to testify about what was happening between her and Bob Risky. According to report, Onye is alleging that Bob Risky had sex with her when she was the, the happy A. The Ivorian came to Nigeria for Bob Risky after the crossdresser decided to reward her for dress, drawing a tattoo of him on her body. However, the work relationship ended on a sad note and Onye returns to Ivory Coast. Since then, she has been making different allegations about Bob Risky. This time around, she is claiming Bob Risky used to have sex with her. In a post she wrote on social media, which read, I missed him touching my boobs. Onye wrote it in one alongside a photo of her and Bob Risky. She also posted another picture of her and Bob Risky and wrote, You are so good in bed. I don't know why you are still doing like a girl. Your dick, everything is still strong. Onye wrote, you know. <laughs> This is a no comment from us. I mean, <clears throat> a no comment. All right, we, take, we leave you and there. We talk multi choice. Multi choice has announced they have reviews. The organizers of Big Brother Niger have reviews that by 2023 they shall include South Africans to the battle. Yes, multi choice group organizers of Big Brother Niger franchise in Africa has announced that by 2023 the house made in much. Followed reality TV show will consist of Nigerian and South Africans. The development made known by CEO of Multi Choice Niger, John Ogwe, made this known on Thursday at Multi Choice Media Showcase event in Lagos. According to him, the next edition of reality TV show will be an all star matchup between Big Brother Niger and Big Brother Zazi. Filled with winners from previous season of both shows from Nigeria and South Africa. He wrote, in 2023, we will be starting the year off with the bank, which will be the giant of Africa coming together on the big brother vision of South Africa against Nigeria, says Noso Finison, multi choice head of programming. This has been an incredible feat for us because we know how well Big Brother Zazi is doing and we know how well big brother niger does but we that's we are just so happy for the come together we are excited about this and we just think that it's going to be amazing nam that's nam so said this was during a show there and he reported now how is it going to be so they still call it Big Brother Niger or something else. We look forward to 2023 20, to see what is going to transpire for the reality TV show. Still in Niger, we talk a top Nigerian singer, Iyaya, who fired back at social media users for insulting him for posting his colleague that video. It has been said Iyaya earlier, talking to his social media page and posted Davido, Davido's concert at Atlanta, sorry. And critics came on social media as other social media fans slams him for promoting Davido on the blogging platform. The, the post read, you're the promo person way big past you for industry. Benu Mok tweeted, now Inyanya got very angry and actually fired back at Benin Mog. He said, Iyaya fired back at Benin Mog on social media platform calling Benin Mog a fool. That he is a fool for thinking that he does not have a right to promote what a colleague is doing and it's good. Well, <clears throat> we are looking forward to see if Davido will say something regarding this issue. And of course, we'll not hesitate to bring it to you. We talk Banky W. Yeah. At this moment, we talk Arasta, who is making it real big in Niger. Yeah, Arasta was promoted by Spotify. Arasta was promoted by Spotify for doing the excellent job she is doing. Spotify has announced Arasta as the latest Rade Global artist, the rising star born in Nigeria. Born and raised in Nigeria is the newest additional artist to Spotify. Rada is Spotify program created to spotlight up and coming talent, giving them an opportunity to broaden their fan base and supporting them in their path to stardom through comprehensive marketing, content, and editorial campaign. Arasta joined artists such as Kids, Laro, Das Boza, Grift, and 500 others who have joined the program since its inception in 2020. To the platform, Arasta will be featured at the Radic Global playlist as well as release 
social content on Spotify, including a mini documentary and social content. The mini documentary, which takes place in Arista's hometown Benin, gives fans special insight into the rising star as she chronicles her beginnings and more, showing fans a personal look at her journey. That's amazing. Arista, keep doing the good work you are doing over there. At this point, we talk Bank W and Adeis who are yes, they took to social media to showcase their song. For it was their song's birthday. And this has also been making rounds on social media. According to reports, Banky W or Banky Williamson and wife Adeis who have stirred reaction after sharing cute photos of their son. Or listen to Winston on social media. The singer and a politician took to his Instagram page that on Friday to share pictures of his son, noting that he is everything they had ever prayed for. It, it should be recorded that Banky W and Adesua broke the internet with news of their son's birth in 2021. The couple, through their Instagram, has shared a testimony of how God turns their tears into laughter, sharing a very cute pictures of. His boy, Banky W, expressed gratitude to God, noting that their baby is everything they have ever prayed for. He captioned it, My baby had a baby, and he is everything we prayed for. Chab Williston, God is good. Thank you, God. The end of the post. The photo sent many celebrities fan gushing, with some pointing out the striking resemblance between the little baby and parents. Shout out to Adiswa and Banky W. And of course, happy birthday to little Williston. Happy birthday to you and many more years. At this point, we talk Ice Springs. Yes, Nigerian artist Ice Springs also took to social media to say freedom. It's priceless. This is coming in after he was being released on bail. According to reports, Nigerian musician Ice Springs had said freedom is priceless. After spending six days in a queer prison, the rapper stated through his Twitter page, that's on Thursday night, September 15, a week after he was released on bail. That is freedom is priceless, he tweeted. The Olike Chrono is standing trials on three count charge, bordering on assault, obstruction, obstructing a policeman from carrying out his stationary duties and abduction. He was arrested earlier as of Friday, September 2nd, for alleged abducting and assaulting a police officer in Lagos. The courts granted him bail a sum of 500,000 Naira and asked him to provide two responsible shutters. The court also ordered his remand at Equi Correctional Facilities until his bail conditions were made. Okay, freedom is really priceless, Ice Springs, for sure. He told that Kati Ifi and Barry Tiger, yeah, they have been making rasu on social media over their single, Marcella. Weeks after this single was released. It was taken down by streaming, it was taken from all streaming platforms, yes. Kata Ifi and Baritaga had been made, ev that's, they have both made every claims about what transpired between them that leads to their hit song, Manchela, to be taken off streaming platforms. How it started, it should be recorded on the 29th of July, 2022, Kata Ifi and Baritaga released their highly anticipated single, Manchela, which was a single dedicated to WizKids. The song was instantly met with support from WizKids FC and other listeners who streamed God's song, a number two debut on Turn Tables Nigeria Top 100 and number one on Apple Music Nigerian Top 100. Comedian Kata Ifi fronted the song through his huge social media following. He is also credited as the lead act on the song. However, the song was performed by Barry Taga and things fall apart. That's in August when Machela was yuck off streamed platform and news of its removal quickly circulated where there were many circulation as to the reason the song was taken down with many circulating that it might be because of whiskey's team who initiated a copyright action against the song however personalities in the music industry suggested it was likely due to the disagreement between kata ifi and barry tada kata ifi opened up and said kata said on what transpired between him and Barry, according to him, he gave Barry his privilege to, uh, to be the song on and further reviews he took off a 
hot kit, whereas Anna was supposed to be the one on the song. Kata claims that Barry turns around and reneged on the agreement and even went as far as claiming ownership of the song. Barry Tada tells his side of the story, saying that he's part of the story in the song. Barry reveals that the, he wrote and performed Manchela. He acknowledged that Kata if he owns the song and he accepted a 70 to 30 split of the record. According to him, things went sour when Kata if his team tries to pay him off with 100,000 naira. This was before Kata if he presented him with a contract that stipulated that he was he has no right to perform the song. Barry reveals that he re refused to sign such contract because their contract was meant for 70-30 agreement and he has no interest in engaging it as his own song. He took down the song. Who took down the song? Now the question still. Many are asking who actually took down the song. And of course, Kata Ifi and Barry Ifi have not said anything regarding this. And other platform who took down the song, they have not revealed what actually transpired between Kata Ifi and Barry Taga. What actually transpired? There's one thing for sure. The truth cannot be hidden for long. With time, people will get to know what actually transpired between them and why the song was being taken down from other social media platforms or other streaming platforms. We'll leave you in that and we'll take you to our next story for today.